What is the number one reason that stories are your most effective selling tool? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. It's been said that when you're in speaking, you're in sales. You're selling an idea. Yeah, maybe you're selling a product or service, but you're always selling an idea. With that in mind, why is storytelling your most important selling tool? Well, as one of my coaches has pointed out, stories give your prospective client or your audience the experience of working with you without having committed to do it. What does that mean? Here's an example. One of my clients, Patty, you may have heard me talk about her on a previous tip. When I first met her, she was essentially a basket case. She had committed to do a speech, and it was 11 months away. She wasn't sleeping well. She was sick to her stomach. She was concerned that she was going to embarrass not herself as much as her foundation. She did not want to put her people in a bad light. We'll jump ahead 11 months. She gives the speech, and at the end of the speech, people are giving her checks on the spot for her foundation. She was that compelling of a speaker. It's what she said afterward, though, that gives people the experience of working with me. She said, Michael, I am so grateful for the work that we did together. You gave me these different ideas. You helped me cut material out, uh, helped me feel more confident, and I know I had a lot more impact and influence. And to make this story even better, about a year after that experience, I was having lunch with Patty, and she said, you know, Michael, all those things you taught me, how to put my material together and how to deliver it and, and just stay calm and not get freaked out about speaking, it's paid off so well because I've been out speaking in the community trying to raise money for this new Boys and Girls Club, and we've raised over a million dollars. And I know a lot of it has to do with me being a better presenter. I'm out there speaking wherever I can, and people are responding. I am so happy with the results I'm getting. I love speaking now. Now, that's the shortened version of the story, but what do you know about Patty? She was nervous, she was scared, wasn't feeling good when I first met her. She did not feel good about giving the speech. What do you know about her afterwards? She enjoys the process. She's raising a lot of money, but the best part is she enjoys getting out there and speaking, meeting people, talking to them, and raising money for this Boys and Girls Club. You can relate to Patty's pain, her frustration in the beginning, and she's got a result that you want. You've just walked her path with her through that story, and you've, in essence, experienced working with me as a coach. A different way of looking at this is that Patty took the risk for you. She hired me as a coach, got a good result, and now there's a proven track record. You're not taking a big chance with an unknown quantity if you hire me. The same would be true for you with whatever it is you do, whether you're selling a product, service, or idea. You share the story of successful clients, and people don't feel that working with you is a big risk. Your tip is to find your best, most successful client stories and share them with as many people as possible. By doing this, you take the risk away from them and make it a pretty easy choice to hire you.